Last reading week finished on a much awaited positive note for financial markets. Massive public spending by the U.S. government and ultra-loose monetary policy by the U.S. Federal Reserve enhanced the prospect of a sustained recovery of the U.S. economy. All these factors support the risk on sentiment among traders. Yet the U.S. dollar closed the week near the levels where it began its way on Monday. On Friday, the U.S. dollar index that measures its value against the basket of six major currencies made an attempt to head for the two-week high amid the data that consumer spending in the U.S. has increased. However, the fact that Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index turned out to be at its highest value since 1990s raised fears among traders over increased inflationary spiral and overheating of the U.S. economy. In the meantime, the euro managed to reach a four-month high against the US dollar and settled near the level of 1.2265. Investors still hope that the economy of the eurozone will recover soon thanks to the ongoing vaccination process that allows the EU authorities to ease restrictions and boost economic activity. According to the latest macroeconomic data, business sentiment has improved in the region and reached a three-year high in May, with the biggest growth in the services and retail sectors. Meanwhile, the pound-dollar pair is holding near its four-year high after a hint from the Bank of England about a possible rate hike in 2022 in case of a faster-than-expected economic recovery in the UK. According to the regulator's forecast, the UK economy will expand by 7.25% in 2021 and then will slow down in 2022 to return to its pre-pandemic levels. At the same time, according to the Bank of England's governor, there is no need to worry about inflation both in the mid and long term. In May, the pound sterling gained 2.6% against its American counterpart. As for Bitcoin, it failed to regain interest of institutional investors over the past week. The price of the number one cryptocurrency was hovering between the support level of $34,000 and the resistance at $40,000 per token. Experts point out the overheated conditions of the crypto market, while Bitcoin miners are gradually moving from China to Kazakhstan. Besides, after a critical comment by Elon Musk regarding the environmental harm of the crypto mining process, miners decided to establish the Bitcoin Mining Council. Its main goal is to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions from Bitcoin mining. Nevertheless, this news was not enough to encourage investors to return to the crypto market. At the same time, oil quotes are steadily moving upwards. Even a possible increase of output from Iran did not scare off investors. Over the week, the black liquid advanced by almost 5%. Thus, May will become the fourth month of growth for oil this year. It seems that the prospects of higher fuel consumption in the US, Europe and China offset worries about the rising COVID cases in Asia. Gold also closed last week in positive territory. Amid a weaker U.S. dollar and renewed fears regarding overheated U.S. economy, the precious metal managed to recover from losses it had in the middle of the last week and continued its rise to settle above the level of 1,900 U.S. dollars per troy ounce. As a result, being a hedge against inflation, gold advanced by 1.28% over the past trading week. You forged combined financial review on Insta TV with me, Anna Kasatkina. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you back soon. Bye.